Thanks for watching Beyond the Brick. Show off your LEGO fandom with our brand new merch line. Link in the description. Now enjoy the video. My name is uh, Kevin Dark. This is my, uh, my moving uh, river piece. Uh, I used a system of belts and, um, and belts with walls on them to bring them back up. It theoretically, if it doesn't jam up, can run forever. Yeah, that's amazing. So talk through a little bit more about what it took to get that whole mechanism running in there. Uh, I, built, I built this 14 times, 14 different, different attempts. They all worked in principle, but would jam up for one, one reason or another. So the, the basic concept of this is really simple, but learning all of the, the little things, the, every little thing that sticks out, the gap between two tiles is enough to jam the whole thing up. So it's kind of learn, it's, it's like waterproofing something. You have to be very careful on exactly how you build everything so that it doesn't jam up. So, I mean, this, this took about a year to get to the to the final form of something that could run a long time without jamming up and that would actually look nice and sound nice. And it sounds like a rain stick. It sounds beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And then you have all the different kind of reverse slopes and all that stuff to kind of keep the path going down. Yeah, and actually um, if if you just set if you just set a Lego on there, it's actually not enough gravity for it to fall fall down. It relies off the kinetic energy of hitting the sides and actually bouncing down to get its way down. It actually, if it 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 actually falls from about right up there, and then that energy from falling that distance is enough to bring it the rest of the way down. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And then what do we have next to that? It's kind of the other half of the build here. Uh, yeah, this is a a collab build built by uh, our whole lug. Okay. Uh, the idea was these are all uh, inserts that people could build their own insert. And then we uh, built the tree, we built the frame of it out of uh, custom cut wood. And then it's all modular, so each section can be stacked. And the idea is that we can keep building onto it in future years, build it taller, build another one next to it, connect them. And then we just uh, kind of blended them together so that it would look like they fit. Yeah, and it looks like there's kind of different themes depending on the builder for each, each area here. Yep, each, each person could do whatever they wanted. Very impressive, and I love the, the round look with that. It's not always easy to achieve with LEGO to get the kind of that round tree look, but I think it turned out great. Yeah, it was, it was very difficult to get those proportions just right, but luckily we have some very smart people in our lug that managed to figure it out. Yeah, it works well, and together the whole, thing, uh, the whole thing is a great display here, so thanks so much for taking us through it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.